recording. So, all right, YouTube. Uh, today we are going to be playing some Blue White Stoneblade. Um, really been liking this deck in Legacy. Uh, it's one of the better decks. Kind of fits my style. It's the same list I played last week. Not many changes. Uh, something that I am going to talk about tonight is the Barrero Brothers Wrestling. They are Magic players from upstate uh, New York part of the Native American Reservation that are a part of the Canadian National Wrestling Team. <clears throat> I'll post the donation link in the description below, but if you donate $10 to them or to myself, I will play your deck on stream. Any deck you want, I will play it. We're looking to support the Barrero Brothers so that they can go to the trials that they need to go to and they can live their dream of being pro professional wrestlers and wrestle for their country. So you can check them out. I'll have all the links down below. You can find them, donate, donate to me, and then I obviously will donate the money to them. So we're looking to support the Barrero Brothers. So check that out, please. Donate, send me an email, or hit me up on Twitter, and I will play your deck online. All right, let's jump in to a league here. Let's play some Legacy. And remember, if you are in the chat, you can hit exclamation point wrestling to learn a little bit more. I'm real quiet. Okay, I messed up my mic settings. I accidentally clicked it off there. I don't know if that's better or not, Mike, but I hope it is. I just like actually I went to unmute myself and I moved it like way over. It's a little better. Okay. All right, I won the die roll, so I will play. Uh, this hand is good, not great, but we're gonna keep it. I'm gonna lead off with polluted delta because we want this to get island. I am not playing in Syracuse. I don't even know when that is. tell you the truth I've just been so busy recently uh, I've been looking at relocating so I've been doing a lot of job applications in my spare time <clears throat> all right draw go for my opponent and it's May 17th and 19th okay so that's a nice draw there because that means that this is free to get. I guess I could play this in case I have to sword something. Uh, wife and I are looking to relocate. Our lease ends up and we're looking to start to plan a home, you know? So we're going to be heading to Vermont probably, back home to where we're both from. What do we got here? We're playing against like a, we got a Stoneforge Mystic. Vomit. Okay. That's all right. I'll just swords that. And we will waste them off of their... Probably their white source. A deck with voice or resurgence likely doesn't play cantrips. So. Nice. All right. So now... We're just going to Jamtown, USA, and we're going to play this really obnoxious three drop that is likely going to win the game. Nice. What do you think you're going to play there for Full of Flame? All right, the opponent just scoops it up. So where the players were playing, it's like a Maverick deck. Probably a blue Maverick with Leovold. So I want my Bomby four drops. Probably want Disenchant for Library Choke and like a Sword. Uh, cards I'm not wild about. Not really wild about Spell Pierce. Counter Spell might be hard to cast if we want to get on the basic train. Spell Snare is probably fine if we saw that many, uh, whatever they are. If we saw that many, um, like a Voice of Resurgence. So we'll probably just for sideboard like this. I want my removal, I want my bombs. One force is probably decent. Let me see how many blue cards I have in my deck. Sort by color. 
We have 22 blue cards, so that's still fine. So we'll just submit. Yeah, my neck is still sore. I have neck problems. I don't know why, but like, man, my neck is just always like in pain, it feels like. All right, we gotta mull this. We have the old one land, non-glue producing cantrip hand. Kind of sucks that London Mulligan's not a part of it anymore. All right, I mean, this hand has lots of land. We don't need any more land. I'm just gonna play my planes. I'm not gonna expose my blue source. I also don't want, it's not like I wanna brainstorm anyways. Hey Daddy, not sure, just getting back into a lot of magic again. Yeah, the Blue Green Nexus deck is what I would play if I like had to play Magic this weekend. I've been messing around with a lot of other decks, but the Blue Green one is just very impressive. That's a nice draw. Oh, nothing from our opponent. So I actually just don't want to cast spells here. Because if my opponent has counter spells, I don't want to play into them. So I could jam this true name, which might change some things, but they could easily have like a zealous persecution. I already played the Tundra. I'm just going to play the true name. True names is just going to be hard to deal with from like the Voice of Resurgence deck. And if they tap lands, like considering they have two Misty Rainforests, if they tap lands to deal with it, then my Wastelands are going to be turned on. No, we're playing against like a Maverick deck. I, I, this is game two. They went, they went Savannah. Yeah, they went Savannah, uh, Blue Land. They went Savannah, Tropical Island, Voice of Resurgence. That's all I saw out of our opponent. Stone Forge Mystic. Okay, that's all right. So now we're just going to plow the Mystic, and then. Waste the Tundra. And then pass. And then we'll probably just end up wasting them again. I, I doubt I'm going to be brainstorming this turn. Yeah, you can have the Jit. I guess I could find a stone. Stoneforge Mystic would be a really awesome hit right here. Now, now I feel stupid a little bit, but let's put this back. Let's put this back. Cause the, now the verdict's not even going to be good, but it's such a great trump card to have. I'm probably going to shuffle it away, but I'll put the verdict on top. No, I'm not going to shuffle it away. Excuse me. And then I will just get rid of the blue source. The black in their deck is probably like Zealous Persecution and maybe Thoughtseize. I could just fetch and then go Snapcaster Brainstorm because we have another land, but I just played this land for the turn, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to fetch at the end of my opponent's turn and then on my main phase Snapcaster Brainstorm. feel pretty safe with the supreme verdict all right we'll just plow we'll just plow this i guess maybe i'm maybe i shouldn't be at, feel as safe with this supreme verdict because i just plowed something but i don't know well that's basically the nut god this card is so obnoxious yeah, my opponent just scoops through it. Yeah, because, like, this just wins the game flat out here. And the Supreme Verdict makes it so they can't even really come back. All right, both teams tried hard. The Wastelands were nice there. Sort by converted mana cost. Dude, the Palace Jailer is so obnoxious. It's just unreal that's a that's a real magic card. Um, 
Everybody in the chat, check this out here. Um, you guys can all look at the Barrero Brothers Wrestling page on Facebook. And you can check them out. If you donate $10 to the Barreros, to the Barrero Wrestling, you can show it to me. Or donate $10 to myself. I will play any deck you want on stream. Tom and Phil are magic players that are a part of the Canadian National Wrestling Team. They're just looking to for a little bit of help supporting themselves going to trials and such because I guess Canada doesn't support wrestling as much as it does other sports. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little sketch, but we could get wastelanded out of this game. I will play... If it's for Tom and Phil, I will play any deck. So basic planes go probably means like death and taxes. So I really don't want to crack this land until I absolutely have to. Or I might have to just get like a basic. Yeah. All right, well, I'm just going to force this and pitch counterspell. Because counterspell is going to be pretty impossible to cast. All right, well, that's a nice draw. So I'm just going to go get a Plains, I think. God, Plains feels so bad. But if they Wasteland me, I'm just, like, so dead. And I can get Batter Skull in play if they, if they don't, if I don't get Wastelanded. But I guess even if I get wastelanded, they waste me off of this. And then I still need to draw land anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to go get a Tundra. Just get the Batter Skull. I basically, like, Wasteland makes it so that I need to draw a land anyways. And because they can just waste me off my Wasteland if they want to. Oh, they have a fetch land in their deck? I don't know if that's correct or not, but that was just, like, my, my thought process. All right, annoying, but, but okay. If I could draw a land, that would be great. Basically a land. And shuffle. I guess I could have, like it was probably a little greedy of me to not just hold up plow, but I figured I would just hit a land drop. I think it's going to be hard to strat the Umazawa's Jitte. I just want to put something in play and the batter skull is like a better more reliable to get in play my hands really set up if i hit land drops but i really need to hit land drops okay stone force mystic gone turn off our yields i might have to wasteland them no it looks like they're gonna play something they play something it's good for me because that means they don't shut off my blue mana okay that's annoying but we basically have to hit a land drop on this turn i think okay nice so now i can actually just go plow this ponder for a land No land. Stoneforge Mystic is nice, but I think I just really want to hit land drops. It's also just like super, like, like Stoneforge Mystic's okay, but I don't want any of the other cards that I could have access to. They don't add to the board here, and I hit a land. Holy shnikes, is this Jailer just going to dominate? We actually just don't have any plays, so we'll pass. This deck, when would you play it? Blue Black Death Shadow. 
I can play this even after I can play this after this league tonight if that works out there. Uh, if that works out there, Gavin Gavendier Gav Gavender. Someone doesn't want to run this into. So now we're gonna start like the porting, which is really not good. Okay. This is this is where the wasteland's not looking that good. Because if this wasteland was a blue source, or you know, or white, or if it was a blue source, then I would have been able to uh, jam my true nemesis, which would have been nice. And then this, the wasteland's gonna kill me. It did stink that we missed two land drops off ponders. I don't understand why they didn't wasteland me and then attack with both. All right, pass the turn. Drawing to like swords to plowshares. Plow would be solid. Actually, I can go end of turn. I can just bounce this. Turn off out of yields. I'll just bounce this to my opponent's hand. And then I can actually hit a land drop and then hit council's judgment. Come on. Come on, dealer. Let's probably tap Caracas. Okay. Come on. All right. And we can counter the Thalia on the way down. So I guess we're kind of in it. Deal the deck. This deck tonight would be ideal. Let me figure out how to join it. You should be able to click a link further down. Yeah, I mean, you can send me whatever you want. If you follow me on Twitter, you can send me like a DM or something like that. But I, I'll get to it tonight after this league. You should be able to click it all below. If that's not, if that's all messed up, then I have to figure that out. Gonna tap my blue land. That's okay. Come on, baby. Come on. That's not bad. I am just gonna plow this now, though, so we don't have to discard. man okay all right we're the same thing here if we if we hit a land then we probably we're super far ahead if we hit a land here come on okay yeah oh it's it's not i can't play jailer but such is life i probably now want to wasteland this port so they can't cut me off my single white source. So yeah, we're gonna actually just play jail, play true name, target my opponent, and I'm actually just gonna waste him off of their port. Now we're in really good shape. Our mana base came back to bite us a little bit there. You know, we wanted, we, I added, I went from to 20 to 21 lands. Um, tried to, uh, wanted to get a little more utility out of my mana base. And it did bite me a little bit right there.
Yeah, we're back in it. And if we hit a land drop next turn, the game's probably over. All right, land drop, baby. That is still great. Because now we go get Umazawa's Jitte. And I'm not going to attack because if I can block this right here, block this, and then next turn if I draw land, I can put it into play. And then Jit plus true name should should give me the W. Ooh, they have blue in their deck. I wonder what for. I can't counter anything here. Okay, another revoker. That is annoying, but okay. They probably name Umzawa's Jitte with this. Yeah. Same place we were before. We need to land. Force of Will is not bad. So I'm just going to violin this. I can either violin the Batter Skull or I can just play another true name. I kind of want to just violin Batter Skull because it leaves up Force of Will and Blue Card with the one mana. And I just kind of want to do that right now. So let me just put this into play. And I'm not going to attack. I don't want to have to plow. Like, if they have some weird, like, plow flicker with something like that, then well, I guess I could start attacking. But I just want to get in with this. Yeah, I think we're, we're like, attacking is, like, a little aggressive. I'm going to counter this. I think this is annoying enough. We can't spell snare right because of the Thalia. The spell pierce isn't doing anything. I'm going to start with an attack and if my opponent like does if my opponent basically like blocks in such a way so the stallia is still in play I'm just gonna jam another true name alternatively I could just hit a land drop and then have spell snare up spell snare slash put jit into play yeah. All right, nice. So let's hit a land drop this turn. And let's hit a land drop next turn. Our land drop next turn gives us Palace Jailer. I should have I should have drawn that differently so that I could put Jit into play. No, I can't put Jit into play, equip, and play Jailer. We should, I think we've officially turned the corner. Nope. I think we have officially turned the corner. And we should be should be finishing it up here. All right, there we go. The first. The first donation there. We'll get that league in afterwards. Yes, thank you. And we will get that league in next. Yeah, so we're just going to jam this Palace Jailer. And I'm just going to take the Phyrexian Revoker. We've got so much mana. Yeah, they just scoop it up right there. 
Okay. So we're going to sideboard similarly because we're playing against uh, like a creature deck similar to last match. I'm going to actually board out AJs too because Jays can be hard to defend against all the little morons. Just want to play the battlefield, you know. I could actually just keep a Jace over a Force. Because this Force of Will sucks if they land. Like, keeping one Force of Will is kind of a dead draw. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this Jace. I don't know if that's correct, if it's just cool. All right, there we go. The first donation to the... Let me get the deck list all set up. And then if you have a specific sideboard that you like to do... You can send it to me on Twitter, and I will play it later tonight. And again, he that donation goes straight to the Barrero Wrestling. So if you all want to support me more, support the wrestlers, excuse me, support the Barreros, then please donate more, and I will play your decks on stream. I will play any deck for the Barreros. Because we want to send them to the Olympics. Um, blue, black, death shadow. There we go. Right, I should uh, hit the submit button. Yeah, we should be good here. All right, again, a slightly awkward hand, but I'm gonna keep it because we have spell snare brain. Like it's very, it's pretty good on the draw. Yeah, I appreciate it a lot. You you are you are helping make dreams come true, sir. We have our first donation to the Barreros. I'm so excited. Opponent plays land go. That's kind of what we want to see. I'm just gonna play flooded strand so that I can spell snare on the draw. And then I will likely brainstorm on my main phase because I do not want to have this be my second land drop. Yeah, I understand that. I hope my stream is not tweaking out. Yeah, I mean it's it's just slow on my end. So I need to I need to make sure to write this down. Also, I'm gonna play it tonight, so I actually don't. I'll be okay. Okay, so here's what we can do. I'm just gonna play this tundra and pass. Like it it, it's, it exposes it to wasteland, but like such is life. Yep, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the two four drops. And then I will fetch a planes in my upkeep. I hope my stream is not tweaking out. It's a little slow on my end. That's been happening recently. I think maybe I have to like go through my computer or something. I'm just going to get an island. No planes, great. We have to keep our fetch land around too. Uh, turn off value. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to try to surprise them with like a play true name nemesis into play and equip Doom with Always Jete. Alright, so we can get Council's Judgment in, but like, you know, whatever. And we really want to hit another land next turn for the Jailer, because the Jailer is just going to end the game. Jailer on an open board is just like, just good night, Irene. 
They can't port us and judgment this away. Okay, they wouldn't play a recruiter. So what is our opponent getting a jailer? Flicker Wisp. All right, really looking for a land here. Nice. Game over. Huh. I deserve that. Yep, I deserve that. That is a big stifle there. All right, well, I'm just going to attack... And I'm going to play Umazawa's Jitte and leave up my planes. And then the Jit will just start clearing out what my opponent's got going on there. The little Stifle Recruiter of the Guard action. That's, that is some spice. My opponent likely has a bunch of answers to this. Um, to this jet after sideboard. I'm just going to wait because if, if I'm, I'm not going to hit this now, I'm going to wait for them to commit to the board. Wait for them to target. They might just target this port to keep me off. Of, all right, so now we're going to plow this. I think it would have been smart there to target the port to keep me off Jailer. I think, I think the big brain play was to target this port. Because, like, you know I have, like, a Jailer or a Jace or something here. Extract my plows, sure. All right, dude, you, you do your thing. You do your thing. Interesting to bring in. Land, baby. That's all right. My opponent stifles this, then like, Whatever. All right, we get the jit counters. All right, sweet. The Say hello to my little jitty. I'm just going to kill this. And I've got a spell snare for a two drop. My opponent can port me all they want. Like, they're just going to... Like that that plan is just not really gonna work out. Yep. Opponent's got a recruiter. Into a revoker. Okay. And I'm just gonna spell snare the revoker. I guess I could untap and disenchant the Revoker, but I really want to just untap and play uh, play Jailer if I hit. So this is like a little aggressive, like let's get a Stoneforge Mystic maybe. All right, that's... Okay, so what is this? This is three damage, so I go up to five damage. I think I'm just going to keep all my counters on my jet because it's like I'm not going to trade damage for it because we can just do that next turn and win but also if our opponent like has the opportunity to strap or has like kills my true name nemesis then I want as many counters on to be able to mow down creatures as possible they're going to jail we were going to put him into jail, but then this guy stifled me, which I did not see coming. 
Yeah, my opponent's dead next turn. They have to plow their own creature to gain life. Okay, they're gonna target that. So let's go remove. Uh, remove gain life. Unfortunately, we could not could not get him. Yep, that's okay. I could ponder for a land, but I think that's just worse than getting counters on this. Cause like if we miss, it sucks. Alrighty. Here we go with the old 2040. We would have hit. Nope, my opponent said something. Oh no, that sucks. They might have said something like nice, I don't know. Maybe they didn't though. I do think this deck's really good. You just eat all of the fair decks a lot. Like I, I've even been beating like Miracles is supposed to be sort of Miracles is supposed to be kind of a tough matchup, and I think that Grixis Control is supposed to be a tough matchup. But just Palace Jailer just completely destroys them. Like the biggest thing, like you want to know what says enough about Palace Jailer? I was watching Lawrence play in the mirror in at uh, G at Niagara Falls, and his opponent went. Um, his opponent. Uh, what was I going to say? And Lawrence went Vendillion click, target you. It resolved. He saw Palace Jailer and Jace, and he took Jace. Like, he, 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 it's not like he had a deck full of Pyroblasts. Shitty Owl does not cut it anymore. No, it does not. I'm going to grab some water. I'm not going to now. It's a little sketchy, but I'm going to keep it. This JIT's going to be just the easiest shuffle away we can get. All right, opponent goes Wasteland, go. We got a, a man with a plan here. And we've hit another land drop, so that's just about as good as it gets. Cavern of Souls, you don't say. Human. Alright, I don't think there's any need to brainstorm in response to this. Alright, I'm just gonna go Island Plains Stone Forge Mystic. We're not gonna be able to counterspell anything anyways. Go get Batter Skull. Batter Skull. Land brainstorm, easy keep. It's just that easy. I don't think I'm going to vile anything in either. Like, I don't think I'm going to brainstorm. I mean, I think I'm just going to play Batter Skull. All right, my opponent with a jet of their own. That's probably going to change things a little bit. Now I probably have to just plow this. And I should do that right now before my opponent can do anything to it because they'll just go like 
They'll just kill my batter skull. They'll block it. First strike damage. Neg neg. So yeah, I'm just going to attack and then plow this before they can Caracas it back to their hand. It does turn my Force of Will on for like if they don't use their Cavern or something like that. Or if they play like, I don't know. It's a Reflector Mage. It's kind of annoying. Yikes. Land drop would be nice. Or Trune. Or a, yeah, Land drop's what we really want. So a land drop. Okay. So we're going to get whacked with a million jet counters here. War the Spark is. Yeah. Could brainstorm again for a plow. That's that's whatever. I'm just going to violin my jet. I'm gonna violin the batter skull. And then just go snap plow on my opponent's turn. I probably should have should not give my opponent like the chance to like if I fetch here, then they can kill this. This is going to be a big hit, but we're going to make them, like, commit to get rid of, um, to get, like, I'm going to attack my batter skull. They're going to neg this a lot. Put in batter skull. This is an odd card to main deck in Legacy right now. Because, like, it's not like there's a lot of black and green. I'm going to kill that. Okay. That's actually really good for me. Because I actually just get a hit. Snapcaster Mage, Plow. There's actually an argument to just... I should have just played my true name nemesis. So that was stupid. I should have just played my true name. And then gotten able to strap up Jet. That's just dumb. Yeah, because true name just blocks this. Yeah, that was stupid. I messed up. I messed up, chat. Yeah, without a Sophie, I don't I don't know. Well, I guess we're gonna figure out if they have a Sophie. I guess I could brainstorm to look for a force of will here. I think forcing this would actually be fine. Because if they have Sophie, then that's like the only way that I really get wrecked here. Alright. We didn't hit. I might as well just put back this spell pierce. And I might as well just draw this land. Lands are better than... And I can actually just wasteland this and they don't have a light source to vial whatever they want to get in. Okay, Safi. Safi's a bit scary. But I'm just going to play True Name. I'm going to waste this. Play True Name. Leave up a blue land. So I can brainstorm if I need to. And then, like, I can either just move the batter skull over to the true name nemesis, or I can just play Jet and Smash. I kind of would, I think I would just want to play Umazawa's Jete. Because just killing the nerds is going to be, like, super good. That's annoying. So I know. 
I know the bottom card of my this the card underneath is a spell pierce. They named Jace. I think they even no, they don't know I have Jet. So that's reasonable. So we go like this. Boop. 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 All right, I'm going to kill this Stoneforge Mystic right now. Oh, shoot. I guess I'll do it in the upkeep. Which just makes it so they don't have to vial in. I guess my opponent was also... No, I should... No, this is stupid. My, my opponent was dead here. Next turn, I just didn't count. Because I could have just pumped my true name and hit them for nine. Yeah, that was stupid. That was just me playing too quickly. Not, like, checking out life totals. I was just like, all right, well, I can just... Manage the board with my Umza was Jitte against the creature deck. I'm not going to think about doing anything else. All right. So cards I definitely don't want. I don't want Spell Pierce. I don't want Force of Will. Force of Will can deal with like either vial, but I think that's it. I think I just want like my big bombs. We just board the same way, right? All the Jaces on the draw might be shenanigans. Like maybe containment, maybe like some other containment priest to click is better than a Jace. I don't want this counter spell. What's better, like a bear or a clit? Probably a clit. YOLO. YOLO. I actually should share my tweet. I should share this tweet in a, in a little Facebook setup here. All right, I think his hand's decent. It is good, not great. We're going to be exposed to wasteland. I think we just have to keep a, a curve like this. You know, you got to kind of cross your fingers. Mother Rune's kind of a beating. Supreme Verdict is really nice. This is a real, this is just a wicked curve. And absolutely, an absolute savage setup against these kind of decks is to curve Palace Jailer into Verdict. I'm going to get an island. Give me one second. Plants one, two, stream, other shadows. One, two, start doing that. Four. Alright, ten dollars. Where the proceeds go towards. Check out the specifics in the Twitter thread below. All right, we're gonna go like that. I just, I just, I should have done that. And I forgot to do it. Don't have you. I'll be in the background. How can I send you an Excel? Um, you can just share it with me. If you have it on Google, uh, you can either email it to me, which DylanHubby317 at gmail.com. You can either email it to me or you can share it to, with me. Either works. 
All right. A way to fetch a basic planes would be nice. All right. Another stone forge mistake is also these. So we're going to get batter skull. Yeah, my email is dylanhubby317 at gmail.com. If any of you decide to donate directly to Tom and Phil's uh, wrestling thing, then if you can either email me or tweet at me or whisper me a link or a screenshot of the, you know, like a receipt, then feel free to do that. So my opponent tries to port me here. I'm just going to do it in the upkeep here. Okay, I just saw the, I just saw the email there, uh, Gavin. What are we getting here with this recruiter of the guard? Flicker Wisp. All right, we're actually just like low key playing. So I'm actually not going to put the. I might just. I, might, I still might put the Batter Skull in play. Because we might just hit, like if my opponent attacks, I might just put the Batter Skull in play just to gain four life. But I really would like them to commit more to the board. But they'll just they'll just give this thing protection, I guess. If they only attack with one creature, I'm not going to put Batter Skull into play. If they just pass, I'm going to play Batter Skull. Oh man, this is juicy. Do I want this batter skull in play? I actually don't even think that I do. Because I want to be able to play games with it with the other one. So I'm just going to untap and just clear the board. God, the way that this Stoneforge Mystic puts pressure on creature decks to play to the board when you have Supreme Verdict is just nuts. They can return brightly here, which is a little bit annoying. But then next turn, I can go like Jailer plus. I can just go like Wasteland Jailer if I want to. Which I think I'm actually going to do. Okay, so they played a Wasteland. They get to waste this, which is kind of annoying. So if I hit a white land, or I did not. All right, so I'm just gonna play the Stoneforge Mystic, go get a jet, and I'm actually just gonna play the jet on my main phase, just to save myself mana. I guess I open it up to disenchant, which is a little loose. The double port is gonna be annoying. No blocks for the home team. If my opponent tries to port my white sources, I might just put batter skull in play. But they have Flicker Wisp, that doesn't really do a lot. I'm just going to let this go. Plow is nice. I choose you, Pikachu. Not going to attack. Just gonna pass and grind out these creature decks with my true name plus equipment. So 
So is this just going to untap the land? Now if my opponent double ports me. Okay, so now I'm just going to put the batter skull into play. Gids. <clears throat> Woo! What a blowout that is. I did not think about that card. Not at all. All right, now we might have a game. They can only attack with this. And they can set something up here where they, like, bounce, block and bounce Brightling. Flicker with the token. Okay. We're in a little bit of a precarious spot here. So do I have to plow this right now? I probably have to plow one of these. So if I plow this and my opponent's last card isn't plow, then I get to strap to my Stoneforge Mystic and get in there. If my opponent's last card is plow, I hit here. Then they can put a bunch of mana up. What's... Because, like, my line of play is either plow Brightling, they bounce it, strap with my Stoneforge Mystic, and attack, and then I get to clear the board. If they have ways to... If, they have, if their last card's a plow, then I'm in a lot of trouble. But how many plows do we think are in their deck, especially if they're sideboarding in removal to try and handle true name? So I think I'm just going to take the upside play here and I'm going to plow this. What is this targeting? They plow their own Brightling. Wow. Oh, they returned it. Okay. Okay. No, they didn't plow it. Okay, I was, I was confused for a second. Okay, so we're going to do this to hit a land drop. All right, we did hit a land drop. I'm gonna leave a blue up. We're not in the we're not in like the, the mood for wastelanding. So now if they block, we trade, we have a token. If they don't block, yeah, this is okay. And then we're going to get rid of this. I think I'm actually going to... I guess I should have kept one of the Palace Jailers in my hand. This is okay. Yeah, I'm just going to pass, and then I'm going to end a turn, Vendillion click myself, get rid of a Palace Jailer. 
and then see what goes on from there. Yeah, my opponent gets free reign here. Gives it lifelink. Triple port, okay. Click myself, get rid of this palace jailer. I guess I, I have another palace jailer. So it's not really much difference between getting rid of both of these cards here. And I'm not going to return the batter skull because then they can just port my other stuff. And I have to just kind of hope that their last card isn't a uh, plow. And this is okay. We're going to just play slow and we should be all right here. I don't mean double white. I mean, this triple poor draw is like, it's tough, but. Just gonna let this happen. I'm probably just gonna bank life points until eventually I'm gonna fight out of this. Yes, you get the turn 11 ether vial. I would like to try to find a way to bounce my batter skull at some point. But bouncing my batter skull doesn't really do a lot until I get Stoneforge Mystic into play. Okay, well now I can get Stoneforge Mystic into play. So there is going to be some value into, bat into bouncing the batter skull. Ooh. So now I'm just gonna play true name because we can we can get around like this can get up to I guess I should have done this before this can get up to five power and we can gain six life so I'm just gonna play true name and equip it and then like we have Voltron assembled here and we should be in a pretty good spot. I guess I should have wastelanded. I should have wastelanded that Caracas at some point just to be so that it couldn't mess with my click. We also just brick wall this Brightling, which is sweet. Okay, so that recruiter is probably going to get something obnoxious, like a Phyrexian Revoker. Yeah, so if that's the case, I'm just going to kill this recruiter and then gain four life. I don't feel so bad about it. They've actually tapped out of, so like we can just strap this. Oh, that's a mod only command? That's stupid. Oh man, I messed that up. There you go. Sorry about that. I should make that not a mod only command. And even if they like decide to pick this off, 
We can just equip the batter skull and go to town. I could also just land Jailer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me just hit a land. Let me hit more land drops here. I could also just take. I could take disenchant. Yeah, I'm just gonna take disenchant. Kill this thing and then attack. I'm trying to figure out how to not lose because I think I'm just going to like win this game going away. And I think it just, like if I just Vendillion click them and they're, if they activate this or within combat, I should be good. It's a long, dry, long grindy game that I just had to make sure that I don't toss. But I feel pretty okay about it. I just don't want to like completely screw it. opponent can just do that. All right, show me what you're working with. Nothing. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to pick this up. It's going to be loose. Yeah, this was dumb. Games are intense. I can actually just kill this right now, right? Because I just nugget and then I respond to it and kill it. I'm just gonna kill this thing, this thing's annoying. Right, because if they make this thing four power plus one, I still kill it. If they try to bounce it, I still kill it. So let's just get rid of this thing. They try to bounce it and I kill it again. Whew. And I might just start like I just don't even think I'm gonna do anything because we knew that's what they drew, so. I'm just going to cool it here. Yeah, whatever. Just attack. Get tokens. Play Stoneforge Mystic. Go. I'm not wasting any guns, so I'm just going to keep up my Caracas. Because I might want to bounce something stupid. We can't get anything, but whatever. Very long grindy game. I 
don't know what my opponent's drawing to at this point. I'm sure there's something that gets them out of this, but I just don't know their deck list well enough. Gonna use it now, get the batter skull in play. And I think I'm just gonna click my opponent also before this mana runs out. Because it's just gonna force the action. I need to return it to my hand, whatever. Like I know I know two out of the three cards. If their other third card is relevant, I'm gonna find out right here. What a grind out game we have here. Okay, so they did have a relevant card. So Flicker Whist is annoying, like they get to reset this germ. All right, so get rid of this. I gain two life. Done. Draw. Play land. Attack with true name. Fast turn. And we're good here. Like, I, I think at this point, my with two lands in my hand, I don't think my opponent has an out. Maybe they could get, like, some sick recruiter of the guard chain. But, again. I'll let them do this. Could have returned my click there just to like have it in case they do activate a vial, which I probably should have done. All right, just sending them in here. I'm sure there's a way this goes bad. Yeah, flick wish is annoying. I still gain four life out of this combat, so I don't really see how this is going bad. Like, I felt, I feel like I've been very far ahead for most of this game. It's just about like, you know, not blowing it. Yeah, they just scooped it up. Okay. Holy shnikes, we're on that three oh six oh train. Good way to start the start the stream. I really hope everybody is having a great rest of their night. Um. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. You see that donation ticker above my head right here? That is for, or is it the other way? I'm not sure. I have to look at my, no, I did it the wrong way. It's for the, uh, for the, uh, the Rowero, Rowero, I can never pronounce their name and they're gonna kill me for that. The Barrero Brothers. And they are looking to wrestle for the uh, country of Canada. Um, they are looking for a little bit of financial support to do that. So if you donate $10 to the Barrera Brothers, I will play your deck on stream, no matter what it is. I will play. I'll play your Shadow decks. I'll play your memes. I'll, you know, whatever you want, I'll do it. So get in on it. I'll do a draft if you want that. Looking to just support the guys. So I'm going to keep this hand pretty bad against a combo deck, but like such is life. Wouldn't mind seeing a Delver on turn one. We saw Scalding Tarn Ponder is not good for the home team. The nice thing is we do have our Caracas. If our opponent wants to get a little uh, cheeky with a show and tell. I definitely think my opponent's a combo deck. They're definitely like moving like they're playing like it's a combo deck. It's probably, now that we saw this, I think it's ant yeah we're definitely playing we're playing against the old ant the ant arena 
You can actually use F6. Do this. I'm dead as a doorknob. My name's Dylan Hubby and I'm dead at. They could be Grixis Control, but I don't think it is. If I'm playing lands and Dark Fist Hidden Meadow, would you recommend um, what deck do you use? If I'm playing lands in a dark if I'm playing lands in a dark depths heavy metal, what deck do you recommend I pick up? Like, I don't know enough about lands to tell you the truth, to really add com to to comment intelligently about that. Now I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Houston, I am not dead. The question is, do I wasteland them? I mean, like, do I have to get to this Jace the Mind Sculptor? If I'm playing, I'm playing lands in Dark Depths. What deck do you recommend I pick up? Well, in a Dark Depths heavy meta, shouldn't like Miracles be really good against Dark Depths, or just other combo decks? Like if you play, like isn't this just an absolutely nut matchup? Oh, something weird is going on. Now I'm definitely not going to wasteland them. I'm just going to Council's Judgment them. This is kind of a relief. To be honest, my opponent just wasted a card. And to just play this, this, this card doesn't really do anything. I'm just so happy I'm not playing against Storm. Ooh, Daze. Okay. So my opponent's playing Death Shadow? Buried alive. Okay. Into just the Arc Light Phoenix Galore. Alright, we're just going to play Jace and start brainstorming. I need to have Snapcaster Mage. I have this in my hand, so I have protection against the Phoenix. Do we brainstorm? Are we thinking Moto? Looks like Moto's tweaking out. Hopefully we don't, our stream doesn't die here. If the stream dies, I will be right back. Please don't leave. All right, I am going to put back this. I'm going to put back the planes and then the fetch land on top. We are digging for a Snapcaster Mage. So I'm probably going to force a cantrip here, to be honest. That kind of sucks. Because now of my opponent's last two spells, last two cards are spells, then they get to go back here. How's it going, Zach? Play Scalding Tarn? Wow. Okay. All right. So we are going to fetch before we brainstorm. Because we knew the top card. Put these back. True name is pretty solid also. So we might be able to race these Arc Light Phoenixes. Well, we can't race them, but we, we can like fend them off.
How you doing tonight, Zach? Ooh, this is nice. They're digging. Okay, so now they can actually... If they cast an arc light, they can kind of get us in trouble here because they can they have priority and they can flash back this therapy and get rid of our plows. But then they have to get rid of the arc light phoenix. Long day. Yeah, you sounded like you were pretty tired. Okay, so if we get priority back, we're gonna kill this. Oh, therapy gets everything back, doesn't it? I was going to, but I got a donation for the charity. I hope that doesn't return phoenixes, to tell you the truth. I'm not even sure that... I mean, it's... Is it three instant or sorcery? I think that it's just one, two... I don't think they come back. Yeah, we're good. And then they just scoop it up. Okay. All right. So playing against Grixis Reanimator. Deck. We don't want... Palace Jailer doesn't seem good. Jace the Mind Sculptor doesn't seem good. Fluster Storm and Surgical Extraction seem good. All my counter spells seem good here. Yeah, it's it's nice. We got a ten dollars. We're gonna play some Legacy Death Shadow after this. So, and I guess I'll bring in these Vendillion Clicks. Containment Priest is also something I'm kind of interested in. So here I have a million cards coming in and not enough going out. Uh, though, Jit's probably not that great. Judgment is, like, medium. Probably don't need all of our plows. The Priest is only good at, like, pressuring Liliana or blanking. I guess it also makes them keep in removal. Click is just your... Like, we probably can board out a couple of these... And then maybe like one of these. This is kind of a little bit of a YOLO sideboard here. Like this might be a meme. But it's more just I want to be like sit back on counter magic than flash in a threat. That's kind of what I want to what I want to be doing. So this is what I'm gonna do. I don't know if this is correct or not, but it is what we are gonna do here. All right, I'm gonna mulligan. Keep this hand. Put that on the bottom. So the Snapcaster Mage is my pitch card here. It's not a bad card to hit. It makes Snapcaster Mage much better. I'm going to force that, and I'm going to pitch the Snapcaster. The Bob is just, like, really good against us, so we can't be doing that. Ponder's not bad. And Ponder finds us a decent card. <clears throat> Let's hope. Because we can, we can do some tricks where we brainstorm to hide a couple cards if we need to. Which I kind of want to do now. I could actually just brainstorm both of these cards away. And then make it so this misses. And because we know the, the other two. Oh, so they're going to hit a force. But like that's whatever. So let's put this on the bottom. Put this on top. They take my force. I don't think there's much they can do right here. If they can play Young Pyromancer, which is like the scariest thing, or they can go Lotus Petal into just get me. Oh, they missed this anyways. It's not, it's not guaranteed to hit. Yeah, it is nice. What do they even name? They named True Name? So what happens if I just click myself and get rid of this Force of Will?
No, I'm not going to do that. I'll let him take the force. They're double buried alive, so we're just going to get rid of this fourth bolt. It might be right to just leave them with the cards they have. Maybe it was correct to... I know, I know I'm drawing this. One, two. Maybe it's just correct to leave them with what they have. Yep, you got it. At least surgical is a good draw now. I think I just didn't play a land last turn. I'm definitely gonna try to fluster storm a cantrip here. Brainstorm. So if I fluster storm this, they make it so they can't bring it back at least. Like it just slows them down, but it's still not great. I guess they still could do it. Like, I know this doesn't counter it, but it just kind of slows them down. Because, like, after this brainstorm, I would assume that they would be able to bring the phoenixes back. But they might not be able to do it if they only have one mana, one land drop to make. All right, they might do it anyways. Black, Thoughtseize. I have nothing. Days of Thoughtseize. Yeah, I'm going to scoop to that. Because, like, three of these are coming back. I mean, I might be able to get back into it, but it would have been tough. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I scooped too soon. I'm um, just going to keep it like this. We had kind of a rough draw. And I'm, maybe I messed up with with what I hit there, because I, I probably would have been able to counter something, but if they go like discard spell into cantrip, it doesn't matter, because all they have to do is cast the cards, they don't have to resolve. I don't know, may maybe I played that pretty loosely. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand like, Stoneforge Mystic is really good against their deck. Maybe I should probably should have brought the Jit back in now that I saw Bob. Because Stoneforge Mystic might let me race the token, like a uh, busted Arclight Phoenix start. I, I thought I, I boarded it in. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, they probably just take my four. I should have mulliganed this hand, I think. Because now I can just get turn one and feel like an idiot. Yeah. Now I'm in trouble. I think I messed up. I really messed up sideboarding, I think, here. Flip Arclight Phoenixes. No, they didn't. Needed Arclight Phoenixes there, sir. Dark Ritual, Buried Alive. Yeah, I think I tossed this. I think I just sideboarded like an asshole in these pre board these post board games.
I think I, side I think I just sideboarded slash played like a dumbass in both the sideboard games. And just like tossed it. Which is my fault. Yeah, it's frustrating. Yeah, I think I just played that last that match egregiously. Like a complete moron. Alright, let me turn some more lights on in here. Yeah, if that was, like, at least I know that was my fault. You know what I mean? I didn't get, like, sucked out on or anything like that. Which feels good. So after this, we're going to play some blue-black Death Shadow. I might as well... Hang on. List, some legacy and death shadow. Slash Donate. Tweet this out here. So what do we got here? We got a one lander that's got a cantrip. YOLO, we're good. We're playing Mr. Jedi himself. ARK 4N. City of Traders, not a great start for the home team. Chalice on one. You got it. <clears throat> All right. Play a mistress factory, sure. Serum powder, okay. Well, that's a pretty tame start. We hit a land drop. Right. We hit a force. We shall discard a spell snare. Alice on two. We have to force this because it could get rid of uh, it might get rid of um, a Stoneforge Mystic as an out. Actually, can I can just F6. Phil. Hey, leave it. Leave it, Phil. Crucible of the Worlds. I hope my stream's doing okay. Alright, there's a land. We're getting there. That's not good. They choose an artifact. What are they going to get? A 
God, this card's so annoying. Hard cast, but really annoying. Okay. Trey donated eleven dollars. You let me know what deck you want to see, and we will get it in there. There, Dean. Lulu and Maddie want to see Phil. We'll show them that. Then you can show me a deck. Come here, Phil. Come on, bud. Philly boy, come. All right, Philly boy, sit. Here we go. Let's move this over here. Oh, there he is. All right, Philly. Come here, bud. Okay, sit. All right. High five. Good boy. High five. No, no, don't, don't, don't. High five, bud. Good boy. All right, ready, buddy? Pound it. Good pound. Good boy. Let me go get him a T-R-E-A-T, -E then we can continue the stream. I can just F6 through this, because there's nothing I can do. Okay. Hey, Billy boy. There you go, bud. All right, I have to figure out how I'm going to win this. So. I really don't need that, huh? Have you trained him to find his nuts yet? <laughs> I have not trained him to find his nuts yet. So can I not play? I can't even tap these. Because this shuts that off. We are dead. He just stony silenced me, effectively, right? He made my stuff lands. He made my stuff artifacts and then stony silenced me out of the out of the game. Alright, so I don't really know how to cyborg against this deck. But I'm tempted to bring in like these. Um MC Minneapolis. Probably not. Probably not there, Dean. I appreciate your donation, Dean. You should check them out. They're in that tweet there. They're two, uh, two Magic players I used to play with that are looking to be on the Canadian National Wrestling Team. And they're looking to raise some funds in order to, uh, to go to the trials across the world. So, um, I really don't like this jit's probably not great. Um, true name is probably not that good, but it kills them, so maybe it is good. Spell pierce and spell snare don't seem great, but both hit chalice the void on the on the on the play. I probably don't need this Caracas. Maybe this Palace Jailer is a meme. They're never going to kill it. It's going to dig me to what I need, though. I have to cut one card. I don't want to cut Jace because it's an alternate way to win. I guess the Spell Snares are worse than the Spell Pierces. All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm not very confident about this, but... No, I guess the plows aren't good. What am I doing? The plows don't seem very good. So probably Jit's better than that. I could extract some of the pieces. I'm going to bring back in True Name. Uh, Gideon is another way to win, right? I don't know. I feel like I just need ways to like win. Like, at least like Gideon pressures Planeswalkers really well. All right, I'm going to try this. But thank you very much, Dean. The uh, Tom and Phil will, will be very thankful. All right, we will keep this hand. We're going to go Island Ponderosa on one. We're looking for a Stoneforge Mystic. Really bad. But I'm not drunk enough yet. <laughs> what are you drinking tonight, Dean? What do you got going on? Stone hit 11. Phil plays Amulet Titan. 
That's his deck. Phil, Phil is an amulet titan connoisseur. He's a master of the archetype. Okay, ponder, ponder. I think all these are good. What I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw the... I'm probably actually going to draw the Snapcaster Mage because I think that's my pitch card. And then, I guess, draw Jailer. Draw Ponder next. Well, Snapcaster Mage will be my pitch card to force. Eagle Creek Bourbon. My wife is a huge bourbon fan. We actually just got, so we invited, like, I got married a year and a half ago. And one of, I invited some friends and they were still in college. So they didn't really have the cash to get me wedding gifts, which is fine. Like, when you get married at 24 and you have friends that are younger than you, you have to know that, like, that's just how it is, you know? So he actually was swinging up by D DC about a month ago. And he dropped off a really nice bottle of, of uh, bourbon for my wife and I. He's like, now I have a job. I can get you a wedding present, which I thought was great. Yeah, you, you know how that is. I bet when you get married at 22, though, I bet uh, as, as mine was when I was 24, the reception is great. Oh, I had so much fun at my wedding. Which everybody should, you know, everyone should enjoy their own wedding there. 10 years in this grounds. Well, congratulations, Dean. That is awesome. You are... You are someone that inspires the young people, young people like me, that are, you know, just getting into it. Really well done, Dean. Something that I would definitely be very proud of. <clears throat> uh, MTG and Bagels, thank you for the follow. Mox Diamond, interesting. Huh. Crucible. I think we let that one go. I don't know how good this is, but... I could go ponder... No, I should have I should have countered that, I think. Because going... Um, if I counter that, then I can wasteland them. We got married that young. We were just doing it because they grew up here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this out here. Fetch if I have to. I'm not really excited about fetching. Turns out getting married for that reason alone. And that, yes, it does. Yep, I would agree with that. Crucible Worlds, they must, it must be, it seems kind of odd out of my opponent's deck. Smokestack. All right, well, let's brainstorm here. Someone one up me to donate to my friend. I feel attacked. <laughs> there really isn't any reason to get married these days. So what does this do here? You may put a soot counter at the beginning of each player's upkeep. So I can just kill this on my... I can just let this resolve and kill this. Which I think is what is going to happen. So let's go like this. Let's go like this. Oh. Oh, there is no soot counter on it. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, that shouldn't... It shouldn't do anything. There's no counter. You won't do it. You get tax breaks if you get married. Lair just for joining lands together to conquer your enemies. Yeah, that's what I thought. That card's a little a little old for me. So we're just going to go... We're basically going to force anything that's really scary this turn. And then we're just going to jam this Palace Jailer and we're going to YOLO it up. 
This is kind of a cute little loop here, this flagstone. And then Palace Jailer is going to take me to the Promised Land. Palace Jailer is super fucked. I'm going to force this. Though, I actually can just let this go and then Snapcaster disenchant it. So I'm just going to let this go. Then in my upkeep, I'm going to fetch. I'm going to play Palace Jailer because I think I'm going to be okay with losing one permanent. And if my opponent loses permanents, then... Yeah, the Monarch's so stupid. Okay, so nice. Now we have... Now we can, like, Snapcast or Disenchant this. I'll just sack a land. Make my opponent sack something. But then they just sack these flagstones, I guess. Well, you'll play my deck for a donation, but not for the whole... I'll play it for the whole league. Chalice on one. I don't even want to force that. Yeah, I think we're just going to let that go. That's what we're, That is the prize right there. That's fine. It's for... I'll play, I'll play your deck. I'll, I'll do it for a whole league. I'm, I'm all good, Dean. Whatever you want to do. Sack my land. Attack my opponent. I'm going to play this land because I don't want to use a fetch land. All right, make my opponent sack some stuff. That's so, that's so sweet that my opponent can do this loop here. I'm definitely going to have to think about this Crucible Worlds more when we get into like the next games. Because this, this Crucible is like a, a lot of value if I'm trying to play that kind of, kind of a long game. Yeah, that's okay. So end of turn, I'm going to get rid of this. Just snap, disenchant the spoke stack. I'm drunk. Here's my sub. Nice. We can put the proceeds to that to it as well, because it's it's for a great cause. Um, I actually probably just want to play this Stoneforge Mystic. I did it just for the emote. It's a great emote. Um, no, Jace is just so, so much upside, especially when I can fetch away and draw a card off the Monarch. Yeah, so let's just go like this. Fetch before we get the Monarch, before the Monarch trigger. And maybe it's correct to just play Stoneforge Mystic. But even Mystic isn't lethal next turn. Okay. We drew a land there. What a moto bug. Okay. Alright, we're gonna keep it. Monarch was great. What a what a f awesome and balanced mechanic the monarch is. Just interactive, fun games of Magic the Gathering. Alright, gonna toss this shit back. Because this is no bueno. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. And we're gonna put that on the bottom. We're gonna hope we don't get turn one chaliced. We're gonna get turn one chaliced. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we get chaliced.
wow, they don't have a, they don't have anything else to do. All right, we're gonna get a batter skull and then do work. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Crucible. Okay, that's... I think that's beatable. We got the... The Ambush Viper Swag Step here. Or Swag Squad. I think we're, I mean, we're like, we're like not super comfortable with our position in life right now, but it's doable. Wasteland, okay. All right, double crucible. An email. I saw that. I have not ordered the cards yet, so we're in good shape. All right, Jace is gasoline. Oh, shoot, I should have attacked my Stoneforge Mystic. Whatever, we made a mistake. We punted chat. Forgot my I forgot my Stoneforge Mystic can attack. And I'm just going to brainstorm here. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Let's get rid of both of these. Should have attacked with my Mystic. He'd be at 15, which is actually relevant. Bite me. <laughs> he has the emote. So, like, he's technically biting you. Shadow Slasher. Should have definitely attacked with my Stoneforge Mystic. I just made a mistake. So you said it's going to be a Liliana's Triumph instead of the Edict. Where is it? Diabolic Edict. Quantity zero. Liliana's. Triumphed. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow, they just passed the turn, played a Serum Powder. Okay, so now let's actually attack our opponent. I'm going to brainstorm. We drew Wasteland, which is nice. So let's put back this, this. I'm going to play Stoneforge Mystic. I'm going to get Jet. And I'm actually just going to Wasteland the City of Traders because... It just slows down his production by so much. Like, he can keep, yes, he can keep bringing it back, but it just, it means he can only hit four mana on this turn, not go up to six mana. My phone says GG's. GG's. Okay, so we're not going to talk too, too much about the deck, but I think the deck's just good. Like, um, we were, like, I think I punted away the 5-0. Like, this might be the best deck in Legacy at the moment here. This this Jailer deck just has everything. Um, it, it can, it just does everything. It might be, the, it might be the best deck in Legacy. If it is, it's by a little bit. There's, it's a lot of late, or even power levels, but it's just a great deck. So, all right.